I'm here today with best-selling author Heidi Murkoff to separate fact from fiction when it comes to conceiving. Welcome back. Great to have you as Great always. Great to be back. So all of the information you're about to share comes from your new book, right? Yes. And it is what to expect before you're expecting. Tell us a little bit about what we'll find in there. Oh, it's a complete start to cuddly finish preconception plan. So everything you need to know, both of you want to be moms and want to be dads, to make a healthy baby and have fun doing it. I like the cuddly you, finish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little true and false today, if that's okay with you. Mm -hmm. First, the longer it takes for you to get pregnant, the more likely you are to conceive a boy. Is that true? It's, it's marginally true. It's kind of ironic, because don't they always say that girls keep you waiting? They do. But apparently it's the boys that keep you waiting. And that's because the longer it takes you to conceive, the more likely that you have excuse me, but thicker cervical mucus. Okay. And little boy sperm swim more effectively in those conditions okay. than little girl sperm do. Uh, so yeah, if it takes you a little longer, you're slightly more likely to be playing on the blue team. You have a great way with words. <laughs> I love it. Okay, boxers versus briefs. Age old debate. Yeah, are boxers better when you're trying to conceive? Yep. Really? They really are. You know, the bottom line is that sperm production gets a cold shower from anything that overheats that special southern region right. on a man. And that could be a hot tub, a sauna, a steam room, a tanning bed, a um, pair of tight spandex bike shorts, uh, or a pair of tidy whiteies. So yeah, you, if you want to give right. those guys the most conception-friendly climate control possible, stay out of the briefs, stay out of hot water, and keep your laptop off your lap. That was my next question. Yes. Can it really slow sperm production? It can. <laughs> Laptops generate a surprising amount of heat if you've ever had one on your lap, you and I'm sure, sure you have. Yeah. And that's not a problem for female fertility, but it could be a big time problem for male fertility, because as we've established, heat is not a friend of male fertility. So keep your laptop on the table. Exactly, treat it like a desktop in, until you're finished with your baby making. Okay, this is one I had not heard before. Can cough medicine help you get pregnant? Yeah. Really? Yeah, you know, it's uh, sort of off-label, but, but it, it actually has been shown because expectorants, and we're talking about expectorants, not cough suppressants. Okay. Those will help if you have a cough, but if right. you're trying to get pregnant, expectorants work by thinning the mucus in your chest. That's a good thing if you've got a cough, but they don't distinguish between different types of mucus in your body, so then they thin your cervical mucus. That's a good thing if you're trying to make a baby because the little guys can swim better in the thinner mucus. I am learning Just so make sure much from you. You're about to learn something else. Okay. Don't choose an expectorant that contains an antihistamine and try to avoid antihistamines when you're TTC or trying because. to conceive because they don't distinguish either between types of mucus. So as they dry out your nasal mucus, they're possibly going to dry out your cervical mucus. Saliva is the most fertility-friendly lubricant. True or false? This is false. You would think that all bodily fluids would just get along, but the truth is that saliva is a sperm killer. Um, and a pretty effective one. Not effective enough that I'd want to run out and use it as birth control, but effective right. enough. <laughs> don't do don't this at do home. Don't do that. Don't try this at right? home. But effective enough that I wouldn't want to use it as a lubricant um, when I'm trying to make baby. Most lubricants, in fact, and massage oils are potentially fertility unfriendly, so best to go without when you're doing that baby making. Okay, the next one I think I know the answer to. Do but you really? I think so. Okay, we'll do see. Do men have a biological clock? I think they do. They do? Yes. Good for you. Well, thank you. Um, it's admittedly a clock with a longer lasting battery, but it's still ticking away. You know, men can and do father children well into their AARP years, you know, into their 50s and 60s and 70s and sometimes even 80s. But there is a decline in fertility starting when a man is has left his early 20s and the decline is more steep once a man has reached his 45th birthday. That's when testosterone is dropping off, sperm production is dropping off, and the sperm that he does produce may be somewhat less energetic. Not to say that an older man cannot get you pregnant, because he most likely can. It's just that it may take a little while longer. Do positions make a difference? I know you want to talk false, about this. False for the most part. Okay. Healthy sperm are excellent swimmers. They are determined little men on a mission, their mission being <laughs> to reach destination egg. So they will get there. You can choose any position you can find in a Kama Sutra book or Cosmo, whatever. That said, if you want to be super practical and give okay. the little guys every advantage, man on top, your hips elevated with one pillow, that position enlists gravity uh -huh. so the little guys don't have to swim upstream. Heidi? You make their day a little easier. You crack me up. <laughs> Do you know? Oh no. my goodness. It's so How much fun having you. Over sperm. It's a good point. 
So um, much fun so having cute. you in the studio. Well, right back at you. All right. Well, for <laughs> more about conceiving, you can pick up a copy of Heidi's new book, What to Expect Before You're Expecting, or go to whattoexpect.com. Thank you so much for watching Parents TV. We'll see you soon.